kids. Hey, it's me again. I am going to work through a series capacitor problem where we actually have to plug in numbers, okay? Um, these are actually pretty simple, just like our, you know, resistor stuff. You just have to apply the appropriate rules. Um, so I do have a series circuit with capacitors, and you can see there's only one path for the charge to go around. Uh, so then uh, you have to apply the rules. So what could I ask you? I could say like, hey, once this is fully charged, how much energy is stored in my six microfarad capacitor? I could ask, hey, how much charge is stored in this one? I could say, hey, what's the total capacitance of my circuit? Hey, what's the total uh, charge stored in my circuit? What's the total energy stored in my circuit? Whatever. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how we go about solving, OK? So first thing you have to do is you have to recognize, uh, is this a series parallel or combo? This one is a series. Um, and then you have to apply the appropriate rules. So, um, I'm actually going to simplify it down, and we'll, we'll talk about why, but if I was to simplify this down, I could simplify it to just like this, one simple capacitor. Now, these are in series, okay? So remember, in a series circuit, I left this from our, my last video, uh, that you can find that on, your, on the equation sheet, but the total capacitance is 1 over, so if you take... Use your calculator. Let's not try to use fractions because, you know, I've seen it and it's not pretty. Uh, and we go 4 inverse plus 6 inverse 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12. And then you get 0.5. But your answer is not 0.5. Your 1 over the total is 0.5. So that means my total is 2 microfarads. So if you take a look, kiddos, and there was a question that said, hey, this circuit, what's your total capacitance? The answer is two. And remember, the reason it's two, when you add more capacitors in series, the total capacitance goes down. So this number has to be smaller than that number. Because that was my smallest one, so if my total has to be smaller than when you add them, it has to be smaller, well, it has to be smaller than four. So uh, we can check that. And then you can use your equation C equals Q over V. And if you do that equation, you get 2 micro times this. And I'm going to use red for my charge. So that means there are 20 micro coulombs uh, total in my circuit. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could do 1 half Q times V. Remember where that comes from. You know, it's on the equation sheet, but just remember it's also, you're finding that, the area there. So you could go, if I wanted to know the total energy stored in my circuit, I could say, well, the total energy is going to be 1 half Q, which is going to be 20 microcoulombs times V, which is this. Hey, that's going to be 100 microjoules of energy stored in this circuit. So the total energy stored is going to be that. Um, and then, now you just have to work your way backwards. OK, well, what type of circuit did I simplify? Oh, yeah, that was a series circuit. We're doing series right now. Um, so that means the charge here, here, and here has to be the same. Why? Because whatever charge goes on to here, goes on to there, goes on to there. So therefore, I know that this has to be 20 microcoulombs. This has to be 20 microcoulombs. This has to be 20 microcoulombs of charge. And then, if you take a look, well then I can solve for the voltage. Because again, if you think about your equation, where your equation is C equals Q over V, Okay, that means that voltage equals Q over C. Okay, so if I take uh, 20 divided by this, you are going to get 5 volts. Okay, if I take 20, hang on, I need my glasses, sorry. Okay, all right. Um, if I take 20 divided by 6, I get... 3.33 volts. And you know what? This already, before we finish here, guys, 
Remember, my voltage has to add up. Well, if that's five and this is 3.33, this had better be like 1.66. So let's just test it and make sure. 20 divided by 12, 1.66, oh my God. And if you do your voltage rule, and then we could find you know, energy if we needed to, and we could solve for everything, okay? Bye, kids.